I'm Uriah and this is my Sovos Rogue Elemental deck. Alright, this is my Sovos Rogue Elemental deck. It originally started out as Rofellos when he got unbanned and then he got rebanned, so he's no longer Rofellos. Was Omnath for a short while, but I just didn't feel like Omnath had enough stain power for me. He usually just died so quickly, and the mana was just you know left in my pool to waste. So here we go. Um, basic lands: a ton of forests, lots and lots of forests. I like foil cards. I like signed cards. I have a lot of foil signed cards. The deck is also double sleeved. I'm not sure if you can see that from the camera. I like to protect the cards. Um, Land of War Reborn, usually not that great of a, a card, but because the graph counter was so low, so it can get him to the kill quicker. Same with uh, Okina. Uh, this is Treetop Village. It's a creature. Sapseed Forest. That's me getting a life of any two. It's also a forest, so it does count towards Rafael's, who is still in here. Um, Orin Reef, really good with Woodfall Primus, or really any green creature in my deck. Maze of Myth, of course. Uh, Miracoco lets me draw out because green can't really draw too much, but it can occasionally. Uh, Wirewood Lodge, still a holdover from the Rufellos deck, untapping an elf. There's also Fauna Shaman in here, so we can use it with that too. Uh, creatures, Veteran Explorer. Uh, a lot of people don't really play this guy, but he's pretty decent. He lets everyone get two basic lands into play untapped when he dies. So, you know, it's sort of a group hug type thing, but usually I can exploit the mana more than my opponents can. Uh, Lenore, Druid, Sack, Untap, All Force, so duels, their force, whatever. So it's not that great. It's probably one of the cards I would cut if I had to cut a card, but it can lead to some pretty good mana acceleration sometimes. Scary Tribe Elder, of course. Uh, my foil signed Rafelos, that was my general for a while. So some more land fetching type stuff. Uh, Cross and Tusker. Wood Elves. Uh, Yavimaya Elder, Grandpa. Uh, Farhaven Elf. Yavimaya Dryad. Oracle of Modaya is really pretty good, um, just by itself, just getting multiple lands in play, because that can draw a lot of lands sometimes. Sea God Ash, um, most people are like, well, why do you play him? He can just get swords. Yeah, but I really don't see him get swords all that much, and I have one sacrifice effect in the deck, which is pretty good with him, so he's in there. Uh, Primeval Titan, of course, I'd like to foil, but it's not. Uh, Eat Witness and Genesis, really good, really sort of broken. Final Shaman, of course. Uh, Seaborn Muse. If you're playing green, this is good. Cozy, because he draws cards and he's big and he's foily. Cloud Thresher, because you want to have some kind of air defense for green, which doesn't have a lot of air defense sometimes. And Flash can sometimes catch people in guard when they attack with air titan or something. Uh, Bellwing Tangleworm, if I really want to get Silvos in and make him essentially unblockable, he's really good. A lot of my creatures have Trample, so I'm not really sure how good Roughshod Mentor is going to continue to be in this deck. Um, it was really good when I had him as Omnath for a while, but he may be cut here pretty soon. Uh, Wolfbrier Elemental, make a lot of mana, kick a lot of oh, wolves out. Spear Breaker, if I want to protect some of my big, big guys. Uh, Mass Myers, it's rebuybackable card draw almost. Regal Forest lets me draw a lot of cards, especially with as many token generators as I have in the deck. Uh, Dawnless Dower Bark is really not that good of a card, people would say, but it's scalable, and I really like scalable creatures in this deck, because it can get pretty big pretty quick. Same with Chameleon Colossus, Pearl Black, scalable. Primal Clux, also scalable. Avenger of Zendikar, um, this plus New Frontiers is stupid. And Drink Stomp Howler, destroy artifacts, destroy enchantments, have a little body. Woodfall Primus, there's a lot of annoying non-creature permanents. Also, I wish I could have a foil of this, but it's harder to find. Terastodon, destroy three non-target permanents, give them an elephant. Tutor Package, basic worldly tutor, survival of the fittest, natural order. Court of Calling is really good, especially if you can get something like Rafelos early if you want to get Avenger late. You know, untap, play a couple lands, play some land fetch, swing with a bunch of big guys. Uh, the only Planeswalker I run is Garrick for mana acceleration, overrun, stuff like that. Uh, make stuff cheaper, Emerald Medallion. So, land tutories, uh, Sky Shadow Claim, one of the best. Um, don't really, you know, it 
break it by not getting duels in this deck because it's just mono green, but you know, it's still really good. Journey was really good with Rufellos, and it's okay just by itself, but another land fetch. Mana Reflection is really good. Gauntlet for green is really good. Uh, as soon as Caged Sun comes out, this will be going out for a foil Caged Sun as soon as I get one, because I don't like making other people's stuff good. So New Frontiers, again, if there wasn't the Avenger in this deck, this would probably get cut, but untapping with Avenger in play, searching up 15 basic lands and making all your guys 15 16s, really good. Vitalize, another holdover from the Rafellos deck, uh, instant green, untap all creatures you control. Thousand Year Elixir, another holdover from the Rafellos deck, sort of pseudo vigilance sometimes, also good with Fauna Shaman still. Uh, Concord Crossroads, give everything haste, another holdover from Rafellos deck, but also not bad with Cozy or something similar. Uh, again, Rafellos holdover. Lurking Predators, you like to play spells? I like to get free creatures, let's do it. Altar of Dementia, this is really one of the most underused sack engines, I think. We're not sack engines, but sack artifacts. Um, sack, mill a deck equal to the number of, uh, or equal to the power of the creature that you sacrificed. This makes top of deck tutors like the Mirage Block tutors worthless. Oh, you just Vampiric Tutor? Great, you just lost your life. I'm going to sacrifice my token, and you lost your card. Oh, you have Liliana Vest, and you just spent two counters, so loyalty counters, getting a tutor card? Great, it's gone. Um, yeah, if you have a lot of meta where your opponents are playing a lot of top of deck tutors, um, or even if they have like Sensei's Divining Top, like if they top wrong and don't have a way to draw it back, boom, it's gone. So, Alter of Dementia, pick it up. Berserk, so I can get quicker with uh, Silvos. Crypt for their yard. Uh, regrowth is regrowth. Reclaim is sort of instantly regrowth. Uh, Desert Twister for more permanent destruction. Bad Vindicate. Grip and Naturalize. I run both. Most people just run Grip, but I like having more options for enchantments and artifact destruction. Uh, big Genesis Wave. Big Foily Genesis Waves are fun. Uh, sometimes you just want to kill people quickly, instantly, and you have a lot of mana, so Squall Line's decent. So the library sets you up early. Harmonize, draw cards, of course. Uh, Tower of Fortunes. This deck gets a lot of mana pretty quickly, so the 8 for draw 4 is not really a drawback all that often, and it's pretty decent for me. Slate is decent with all my token guys, but I seem to be using it less and less. Um, when Rafaelis was a general, was it really quite a bit better, but it's still in there. Uh, disc if I need to blow. Uh, token generators. Green Insect for each force, not bad, shuffles back in. And how the Night Pack gets some 2-2s two for each force. So, there we go, Silvos. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Please subscribe and favorite.